What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, taking a look at the QSP Pangolin, not to be confused with the QSP Penguin. This one's going to be a much larger knife and also a completely different style, but I picked this up. I actually won it from a giveaway from Big Red EDC, so if you like knives and don't follow his channel already, definitely check it out. Give him a follow does great content and like I said I won this but you can get it for around $41 on Amazon right now which is a couple of dollars cheaper than some of the knife retailers definitely always shop around because the prices change but it is currently a couple of dollars cheaper than some of the other big knife retailers already alluded to this being a larger knife overall eight and a half inches and 3.75 inches of that is the blade although only about three and a half inches of that is cutting surface you have 4.75 inches in the handle, meaning you're going to be able to get a really nice four finger grip on here with plenty of room to spare. I wear size large gloves, but if you have larger, you shouldn't have any issue getting a four finger grip on here. Really comfortable overall. I do have one minor gripe in terms of this grip in the ergonomics, and that is that they have these stylized cutouts for your fingers as kind of suggestions of where to place your fingers on the handles themselves and so the index one is perfect but for me where my ring finger lands it's right on top of that hump and I know I could cramp up and get into the smaller section or really spread out and get behind it but the most natural and comfortable grip for me lands right on top of that hump definitely not a hot spot by any means but I'm aware of it I feel it and I know it's there and so for me I would rather this just be one longer cutout. <clears throat> Pretty minor overall because it doesn't make it super uncomfortable but anytime you're feeling a spot like that it's not ideal it can develop into a hot spot if you're using heavy use really cramp down on it using it for long periods of time and so for what I'm using it for it hasn't been an issue whatsoever but wouldn't mind seeing that just cut out entirely now more on the ergos at G10 scales, which are really smooth, but they have these nice cutouts here that do add a little bit of grippiness, and it's actually really effective. It works the same way as the jimping here where your thumb lands. Jimping is well placed on the back of that blade. Nice, deep, and aggressive jimping, which I always like in a knife, and it's really effective in grabbing the meat of your thumb and keeping you in place. So definitely a big fan of that jimping and the placement of it overall. Now, the pocket clip is right hand tip up only, and so you're not going to be able to reverse it for lefties. It's also not super deep carry, but in terms of ergos, just disappears in the hand. It's a nice thick handle, about 0.6 inches thick, and it's well placed. It's right in the center, a little bit further back, so that non-deep carry does help it out a little bit there, but it really disappears. You don't feel it at all. The only place that I'm really having any noticeable experience at all is on that hump with my index or ring finger. So ergos are really good on this. I don't love the style of the pocket clip either, just kind of aesthetically. It's not my favorite looking pocket clip. Could definitely live without it or have this replaced, but it's not terribly bad either. It is an effective pocket clip. It works well, nice and stout, grips on there well, and nothing that's going to be super tearing up your pants or anything like that. Blade on here is D2 Steel, nice drop point style blade. I like the blade shape quite a bit. It has a subtle swedge at the top and already mentioned that jimping is nice and effective. The show side has the QSP branding on it. It's pretty minimal for the most part in terms of billboarding. The non-show side is actually even more minimal with the only stamping on here being right here on this flipper tab. You see the steel which is D2 on this and you can get this in this finish or a coated finish if you get the black G10 skills. Only two colors available right now as far as I know are green and black and I don't think they're doing any other materials either. It is a liner lock and you can see there's some nice jimping on the liner lock as well that really grabs onto your fingers. That works really effectively. Now it's not going to be a drop shut or even a single shake. It's usually about two shakes to get it to shut and so that's not quite the smoothest experience but the opening experience is very smooth. It's on ball bearings, the flipper tab works well, the detent seems really nice and dialed in to just about perfect, so it's nice and snappy and responsive. No problems whatsoever opening it. Closing it's not as smooth, but not a terrible experience either. Just not as smooth when comparing it to opening it. 
Now the liners are skeletonized a little bit to save a few ounces, but this is still heavy, even relative to its size. I'd say it's a little bit on the heavier side at 5.3 ounces. It's not terrible in hand. It feels really good. It feels pretty lightweight because it fills up so much of your hand. It really kind of balances out that weight. But speaking of balance, I feel it's a little bit heavy on the back side of it, which doesn't really matter when you're using it, but if you are trying to find that balance point, it's a little bit further back from the pivot, kind of right in line with this index finger. So it definitely feels a little bit back heavy if you're really paying attention to it, but doesn't affect the overall performance of the knife. Overall at $40, $41 or so for D2 steel and the size of the knife, the ergos are really good, the action on it super smooth. QSP does a great job overall for the most part. I haven't had many bad experiences with QSP. And so I'm pretty happy with this at the price point. I'm, I think this will make a great user knife, definitely a good beater, something I'm not afraid to destroy, easily replaceable. And so like this quite a bit, actually, if I could change one thing, it would definitely be that just kind of cut out. But for the most part, and depending on your hands, that might not be an issue for me. Like I said, these are kind of suggestions on where do you place your fingers. But for me, if I go both fingers in front of that hump, it feels a little bit cramped. And if I go one finger in each of the first two cutouts and the other two behind that hump, just feels a little bit too spread out and forced and it's just not a natural grip. So depending on your hand size, it may be a non-issue, but for me, it just happened that my hand size lends perfectly on that hump. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have one of these, what your experience with it has been. If you don't have one, if you have any interest in it, I will link in the description to probably Amazon since it's a couple dollars cheaper, but just be aware that if you're not watching this right when it comes out, prices on Amazon do fluctuate. I believe this is from QSP directly on Amazon, so you know it's a real one. I don't know that there's really anyone knocking off QSP and making fake ones, but it is from QSP just through the Amazon store at that $41 price point. So if it's not that price anymore, make sure to shop around because it's only a couple of dollars cheaper than the other retailers. So if this jumps up to $50, for example, Blade HQ has it for $45. But again, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.